Guys, I haven't made a tutorial DIY video in a while or a re review for that matter, but more is coming. Um, so I made a jellyfish video. Um, it was a more of a troubleshooting and I was partying that night. A little embarrassed by that video, but that doesn't matter because I'm here to show you the best way to get your jellyfish working. Right when you, the moment you click the on switch on your tank, they should be working if you follow this step by step. I ain't going to waste your time bullshitting you. Let's just get right down into it step by step. And I have the uh, an Amazon model, the bigger cylinder one. I've had a few models. It doesn't really matter which model you have. This method is going to work. So let's dive down deep right into it. I ain't going to waste your time. Very simple first step. Um, my pot is stained here, but make sure you have an absolutely clean pot. That's just a stain, you know, rust or whatever, Mark. Clean pot, get water from your tap or water from your filtered water from your fridge, whatever. Uh, don't have to make this complicated. We're just going to put a dash of salt in, maybe get it boiling a little quicker. You're going to bring this to boil and then you're going to let it cool and you'll be using this for your um, the jellyfish, the tank. And this is a, a probably the biggest overlooked step in this process, but the most crucial is that you either have boiled water or you've went and bought distilled water and it's still distilled. I think after about a week, you do not have distilled water after you've opened it from the store, okay? So this is going to get the nasties out of here, the sediment, uh, the uh, minerals, you know, all that shit in there. Sorry, pardon my French. I'm just going to hit, hit, put that on max, and we'll see you on the next step. You're going to have your boiled water and your um, dish soap ready. Very, very simple. You're going to take your dish soap of any kind. Okay, you bought store. Oops, I did too much, but let's start again. I want to see, show you guys how to do this properly. One tiny little drop like that, okay? And now you're just going to... You see, that you want it just like that. A little bit of soapy coating. This guy could probably use a little bit more. I'm just kind of iron this. Okay. It's a little slippery. Okay, so just rub him around. He's got a nice light coating now. Now we're gonna do it properly with this guy. Watch, there's this tiny little glob there. Oops. Make sure he's not dirty. Okay, well, anyway. There's a tiny little glob there. Okay, now you guys are probably gonna laugh, but I'm about to probably spill a bunch of water. Now remember, the key part is you're using boiled water. Okay? You boiled it, you let it cool, or you're using distilled water. If you bought distilled water and you opened it and refrigerated it or whatever, uh, it's, it's not distilled water anymore after seven days. So this is a key, key component is using your dis either boiled water or store-bought distilled water that's still distilled, still, still distilled. Now, I'm gonna fill my tank. This is unplug it for the purpose of video, not that it matters much. I try and use a funnel here. My water's looking, yeah, my pot's a little bit, uh, it's it's fine. Now, oops, oh, oh, oh shit, yeah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> As you can see, so I'm just gonna go. I've got almost topped up on my filtered water here, distilled. Okay. Um, watch to where I fill it to. It's kind of important. Well, pretty well. About there. Okay. No more, no less. Maybe a little bit more, a little splash. Okay. Perfect. Now, you're gonna put your. Jellyfish them carefully. So they don't turn inside out. Now. Now, um, I got a little battery warning. We're almost done. Now here's probably one of the other very, very crucial parts to this. Put the smallest drop you can without making a big glob. Like we're talking the size of a P or like, you know, a BB, BB gun. Remember those little copper BBs, the Red Riders? You literally want that's all or else you're not going to have a good tank. Let's see how well I can do it. If I go over a little bit, it doesn't matter. 
Okay, that's literally it. Did you see that? It's like not even a glob. It's a tiny little, look at this. Anyway, now here's the final test. Give these guys a poke down in the water. Okay, put your cap on. Uh, just gonna plug this in and see. Well, and here we go, showtime. So this, yeah, the little guy, the guy at the bottom is catching his too. So there we go. You see, oh, I didn't take a, um, I didn't take a uh, pen or a paintbrush and jam them down. I put the one little drop in. Well, the important other part is I coated them very lightly. And you can see the tank's very crystal clear. You see that? It's very, very clear, right? Because there's a very tiny amount of dish soap used in this process. What I did was, is uh, I took the best tips from you know, Amazon reviews, manual, whatever, YouTube. And I found this, you, if you do it just like I did it, just as a step-by-step, -step, you can expect dancing jellyfish. And it'll get better as the tank runs here, you know. Um, so there you have it. As you can see, no special trickery, no tools. Get your dish soap at your department store, grocery store. I think any brand will do it, pretty much. Whatever you like. And don't do what I did, make a mess. Do it at your in your sink. That's the best place to actually do this, to fill it up and clean your... your... And I can't stress this, is every step is important. You started with a clean tank, clean jellyfish. You coated each one very, very lightly with the dish soap and you put, you saw that, I don't know if you, the camera caught it, it was a tiny, tiny little BB size glob, not even, like almost half a BB, right? And you do all those things, as soon as you click, click that switch on, it's gonna get going. So I'm gonna hopefully get some more videos in before the year end, I've been slacking this year, um, especially on reviews and how-tos and stuff. Sorry guys, life got